thing that's come up is how to export your questionnaire from um, Microsoft Forms into Microsoft Word so that you can include it as an appendix to your ethical approval application or your research proposal. So there's one, there's a few ways you can do it. Uh, the one I'm going to show you here involves using um, taking text from a PDF version of your survey and then using that, um, pasting that into Microsoft Word and using the formatting in such a way that you can get in um, fairly easily. Sorry, this is taking a while to load. I'm going to have to go out and see, can I find some Wi-Fi? There we go. So on this example, this is um, a questionnaire I use with students to gather information about their horse experience before we go and do some practical classes. So you can see I'm looking at the questions here. I've asked them for their name, how much prior experience they have, any other relevant information, how they plan to get to and from the training, and is there anything else they'd like to add. So I have a variety here of open and close ended questions. So if I click on the little arrows up here and I get the options to print this as a form. So print form. Yeah, it'll take, probably take a minute to open. And what should pop up is the option to um, buy, I'll get my print preview menu. And that will allow me to see uh, what I want to do with it. Sorry, now this Wi-Fi is really slow. Case, I'm going to give me the option to open as a PDF so I'm going to pick PDF here and you get the option uh, you could open in preview or Adobe Acrobat Reader um, I want to in my computer it preview is what I can use to open it but it might be Adobe depending on your computer so now I have the questionnaires opened here in a PDF so I'm going to select all and copy that and I go into Microsoft Word and I want to create a new Word document so a blank document. I'm going to paste it into that. And if I paste the text only, that's now given me uh, just the text from the questionnaire into the Word document. Now you can see it's a little bit bunched together, so I'm going to just do a little bit of formatting now to give this a quick tidy up and make it suitable for inclusion as an appendix in another Word document. So. That's my heading. All right, for example, I might make that bold. And if I might make this say Appendix 1 and use my formatting tool so it'll show up in my table of contents. Then I want to make a space between required and question 1. So you can see question 1 was please enter your name and then you've got enter your answer. So I'm going to put in here in brackets text box so that someone reading my appendix will see that this question will, will be a text box for within which the person can enter their name. You could also, you know, insert um, a text box from shapes, but I find that tends to make the formatting more awkward to use. So I'm probably just going to leave that out. You can make life simple for yourself. Question two then, prior experience, please take all that apply. I had several options here, but we can see I want to put each option on the same line. So I like comments. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six options here. So for example, I might use um, bullets or I could number those to indicate uh, what I'm asking people to pick. Just check if you're doing that, that that's correct. This one, for example, um, is overrunning onto two lines. So I have six options. Any other relevant information? Enter your answer again. I'm going to type text box in here so that for someone read my appendix, they'll know that the person is free to answer whatever they want. Transport to and from. So I had two options here for this question. I'll be taking the bus um, or I'll make my own transport arrangements. Anything else you would like to add? Enter your answer and again that's going to be a text box. And then I'm going to take that out. Okay. So I now have a document that I can save um, as say survey. We call it my survey questions and you pick a, a location to save it on your OneDrive. So for example, I'm going to put this into my um, module resources for vet nursing four into the, my research methods 
folder and I'll put that in ethics because it's going to go into sample forms. Okay, then I can cut and paste this information into my research proposal uh, when I get to that point. So that's basically it. Hopefully that's helpful to you. If you have any questions, come back to me.